In this video we're going to take a look at a desoldering iron. It's made by Katsu and the model number is a ZD8915. It comes in a plain brown box. Inside a little user guide. Cardboard box here with some accessories in. Got some little foam pads and some replacement tips in there. A stand for the gun, some cleaning rods and a little rubber end cap that's come off something. And there's the main gun itself. So here we have the gun itself. There's your tips there, as I said there's two replacements in that other bag, you just unscrew that to access your tip, it just helps go into the sleeve and then screw it back on just as you would have sold an iron tip basically there's your trigger to operate it that's the collection valve that's the collection part where your old solder goes and then to empty it you just push that up that clips back and then just twist it and out it comes in pieces So you've got the spring inside which just pushes that piece back off so you just tap the bits out and then put that piece back and then the little foam. And then to reassemble. And then to reassemble, just push the foam pad up against there. It's a little bit tight. Make sure it's loose and then just push that back on and it's locked back in place. Quite a long cable and the connecting socket there but there's a, a good length of cable there looks to be a meter or two of cable yeah I'd say there's a meter of cable there so you've got your air pipe and your connector and the actual main unit here Right, a fetching blue colour. It's reasonably light. It's probably about the weight of a bag of sugar. Um, all, feels to be all plastic. Um, standard uh, connector there, power switch. And then finally in the box we have a power cable and a nozzle for the air pipe. And a base. For the nozzle to go on. And just take that out of the bag. Very basic, simple design. Just slot that in there. That's ready to go. Basic but adequate. Put this nozzle on the front. There's a little sponge of the filter there, which that will come out of a pair of tweezers. It's a bit awkward to get out by finger. And just connect that onto there. They're used to the machine now. Match the ident up. And put the, uh, the lock on. Connect the pipe. So now set it up on my work area and we'll give it a quick try.
So you have to excuse the state of my uh, work out at the moment, I've been quite busy recently. Um, so I just plonked it on part of my work area just to have a look, so we'll power it on. As you can hear there's a fan in it. For rework I would usually be using a, a solder station such as that with hot air, or my trusty old weller um, for BGAs etc. Um, so I just thought I'd have a, a try one of these because they're, they're cheap enough for what they are, they're like £60. Which isn't quite particularly expensive when you consider how much you can spend on solder braid, etc., which is a throwaway item. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing there. I'm all uh, ASD protected, as you can see on the other side, the ribbon cable. There's no ribbon cable where it should be because it, it, all the contacts have broken. Someone's been in this and had a play with it before. So, this is not something that I'm really particularly worried about. So, if we do, if it damages it, it damages it. So let's just see. Well, it's melted it and taken it. Seems to be doing alright, it uh, looks to work best if you just put it straight on top. Yep. Yep, now I think got the hang of it, it's definitely doing a much cleaner. I'm not sure if you can see. Let's zoom in a little bit. Hopefully it's focused in on that. And you can see what's happening. As you can see, it's actually removed the solder and the little off cuts of wire that are left in there will just quite easily come out now. Ready to have the uh, old ones restripped and put in and sold and the first impressions it, it seems to be uh, performing better than I expected to be honest there's two left on there so we'll take those out while we're at it these look like some's had a go at soldering these before this is quite a blobby solder on there. So those ones might need a little bit of a touch up. So them two might need a little bit of a touch up with a blob of a bit of solder braid. Uh, but in general I mean, I'm not able to have a close-up look at the board from here because the camera's in the way, but from what I can see from here, it's took the majority of it away and left them reasonably clean. So there shouldn't be any reason why you can't uh, clean that up and use it. It's not damaged the tracks or anything that I can see. And this is a, a really old board. It's like a late 70s, early 80s EQ, this. So all in all, first impressions it seems okay so I'll start doing some work with it now and I'll do an update video at some point um, as to the thoughts of it as you can hear it's reasonably quiet it's got a fan running in it when you operate it it's quite noisy but it's not too noisy and I'll just shove it up on my shelf with all the test equipment out of the way um, so there we have it I hope you found that useful. That's for my quick unboxing and look at a desoldering station. Um, as always, be safe. Please like and subscribe. And hopefully see you again soon. Bye for now.